All right, all right, I'm back. Hello. I know without the hello, it doesn't sound right, does it? So let's, um, this is after we won our game against really Oklahoma, so let's Thank see you, how sir. we go from here. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship, but nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. I wonder who we Football play life, in the man. championship well, now. You got to stay grounded. What's I wonder if I get to choose. So if I had to choose, Isaiah. Well, we'll see what my <laughs> options are. Damn. Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this. See hat. how weird Thank people you. look. Oh, That's why absolutely. I say the frostbite engine. The magenta, fuchsia. What color is that? I don't think it's the best for making <laughs> realistic okay. character-driven yeah, games. It works for the sports. Out. I mean, as far as like when I'm playing Madden, it works fine Emily for has that. The best games. But you'll notice in these okay. videos and in the way if these people unicorn, look. you a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? They just always look a little well. goofy. Oh, it's up to hmm. me. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> you see, look, you don't, you don't pick from the options given. All right, the game is in the name. Off the board. Now it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Uh, onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? This she's doesn't make any sense. Too shy to ask, but... Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. Don't she say wanted that. you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? Oh. <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh, well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. Would have turned the game. I came up with sort of some sort of signal to give you, so you know we're thinking about you. Nah, not as good as four touchdowns. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's great seeing you guys. It's nice to meet you, Emma. Nice to meet you. She loves it. Okay, all right, all right. Get on the bus. <sighs> You can't promise somebody something like that. Come on, that wouldn't We're even make sense, would it? We're days away from the national it? championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind: Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead a team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this good yeah. enough? You notice there's no way they're going to say, "Al, no, that's smart." That's no, not that's <laughs> it. But hold on, I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager. I don't know. I could probably win shot. that way I do. sometimes. As, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game. He punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? All right, here we go. Hey, now, who are we playing? You yeah, sure, coach. You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. It's a lot of pressure. 
The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back, right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, coach. Yeah. Thanks. Good on. Yeah. Yeah. You know what would be fun is if they let you do a body top. Can you imagine you do this little fat, pudgy quarterback? That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> Uh. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara oh, for the, the college Gators. football playoff okay, well, that's national a good championship game. I As we'll see the picked, Florida so. Gators taking on the Clemson Tigers. Oh, so I didn't get to pick anybody. They just did it. Let's see. Let's do a middle. Return. Here we go. The matchup we've all been waiting oh, for. Number one oh, versus man, number two. And off we go with a college like football playoff national championship in Santa Clara. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Oh, let's see. We will try. My best inside handoff. Let's try it. With one game of college experience now in his pocket, this young quarterback leads the Tigers up first and ten. First down carry for him. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some yards, man. Call well, I guess four, four yards. On first and that'll make it second You down. know, I shouldn't complain. But four Charles, the success okay. that this quarterback had in the Let's semifinal, the how does it um, translate here? Well, it certainly helps his mindset because he has to have Let's a lot of confidence play. going That's into this one since he did it so play. well it. in the semifinals. I do think we'll see a similar kind of offense. They'll find places for him to take his shots. And especially, you have to when you've got a weapon well, like Streets on the outside. Bad. Wasn't the best. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Now give me. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even oh. on rundowns. It confuses yeah, wait, the blocking me, assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive Sean linemen yeah, to get up to the second level. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. This has worked for me before. Back to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field oh. here on third down. That and it's one of the goals right. of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. Where How we, did we do on we third down? To? That's a nice start for them in this one. Um. Uh, I don't even know where we're kicking to. It's like... Yes, on the one. Good job. You ready? You ready? You ready? Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes uh, one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting uh, point is the 20. So there thing. is a reason that a lot of punters are also Can excellent golfers. Goal, they know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats yeah. under pressure. The Gators now with a first and 10. This will oh, be a carry on. for Clements. And he'll get this yeah, up past the five to the seven-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. There's no point staying goal line. Right that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Oh, 
Reddick sends to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they work this out past the 25. Well, they got a big third down time. pickup of 20 yards. Just the first quarter of tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing How did we not get attacked by season that was weird. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. Yeah, but I missed him. Yeah, it would have been a different story. Night. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh. They got his man complete. That one good for 26 and a first down. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. For the Gators, they are in search of their fourth national title in school history. They lifted the trophy for the first time back in 96. And then most recently, they were champions in 2006 and again in 2008. On the ground, it's Clements. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and ten. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Now Reddick. There you go. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Oh, my That's goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. All right, not too good. All right. Let's do a run inside. Do we have something better? I would like to have something better that I could get to easily. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out there process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. If they open things up, let's see what the defense oh, does here too to after a good stop. <laughs> on second down now. Oh, and he will be taken down that as that hard. will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No, that's okay. We're scoreless after one. We're scoreless after one. All right. Let's do a little. Do we have. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll set up a throw. Hard throw. What? Incomplete. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on really third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing I league, and they're that. liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, <clears throat> I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. Call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And possession will switch hands first and 10. 
Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score. Second quarter as they come up on first and ten. They'll run with Clements. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit oh, was there on. and just ran him down. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Reddick. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll take it down shy to 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10, Florida. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. There you go. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage. And hope that he's out there. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That they occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation allows him to get home. Oh, that'll be fun. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Oh. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. But Charles, we talked in the semifinal about Isaiah Street's brother Ezekiel, lost due to leukemia exactly one year ago today. But since then, Isaiah's been active in trying to help those who are going through the same struggles his brother went through. He formed a real bond, in fact, over the summer with one of them, 11-year-old cancer patient, Emily Atwood of Centerville, Texas. And we're told that Emily and her father, Todd, made the two-hour drive up to Arlington a week ago to watch their semifinal final victory and got to spend some time afterwards with the All-American receiver and his